If you want to know the truth, I'm a lazy kind of guy. If I'm going from point A to point B, I'm going to find the quickest, easiest way to do that. And at Thanksgiving time, point A is raw turkey and point B is cooked turkey with perfectly juicy meat and crispy skin. With the thousands of turkey recipes that come out every year, you might not think that there's one best way to cook a turkey, but you'd be wrong. There is a best way and it's called spatchcocking. Here's how it works. Now, we all know the problem with trying to roast a whole turkey, right? It lies in the fact that the leg meat has a lot of connective tissue and fat and it needs to be cooked up to around 165 degrees. Meanwhile, the lean breast meat will dry out if it gets much hotter than about 150 degrees or so. Now here's what happens when you put a turkey into a standard roasting pan. You see the problem? The breasts are fully exposed. Meanwhile, the legs are shielded by the side of the pan, which makes them cook slower. It's almost as if somebody designed a device specifically to make the breasts dry out before the legs are done cooking. So the question is, how can you get your turkey to cook more evenly, cook faster, and taste better all in one go? Just flatten it out. By spatchcocking a turkey, you give yourself four major advantages over a standard roasted bird. First, a flatter shape means more even cooking. By flattening out your turkey and spreading its legs, those thighs and drumsticks, which were once the most protected part of the bird, are now the most exposed. And because they're thinner and lie flatter than the breast, they cook faster too. This is important because it means that your breasts and your legs will come up to their ideal final temperatures at the same time. Advantage number two, check this out. All of the skin is on top. Now with a traditional turkey, it's really easy to get crisp skin on the top of the bird, but the sides and the bottom end up a little bit soggy. On the other hand, with a flattened bird, all of the skin is evenly exposed to the heat of the oven. And not only that, but there are plenty of escape routes for rendering fat and drippings. This guarantees that you're gonna end up with crisper skin in the end. Your next advantage, a thinner profile that makes for faster cooking. Now, a normal turkey takes a few hours to cook, and this is because it's basically spherical in shape, which limits the maximum temperature at which you can cook it. If you try and increase your oven temperature too much, you end up burning the outside before the middle gets hot. A spashcock turkey, on the other hand, lies flat. This means that you can blast it in an oven as hot as 450 degrees, which makes it cook in about half the time that you'd need for a traditional turkey. Finally, spashcocking provides you with a turkey back, which allows you to naturally enhance the flavor of your gravy. Of course, the only downside to the whole thing is that you're not gonna be able to present the plump, round, Norman Rockwell vision of a perfect Thanksgiving turkey. But who really cares when it tastes so good? And if anyone complains, here's a little trick. Just take a drumstick and shove it in their mouth. I promise you it'll shut them up. Who really needs a large centerpiece when you've got a platter full of perfectly cooked meat and crisp skin to pass around? I promise you, your guests will not miss it.